Uh, good morning, YouTube. Got the chef here. <clears throat> Coming at you live from Cooper Aquatic Services. Coming down to my cave this morning. You know, sometimes it's a little scary to uh, do a live, well, a straight up video coming downstairs, not checking downstairs first because you never know what you're going to see a dead fish or anything. But, you know, I'm, I'm content and, uh, you know, I love my hobby and I love my fish, so, you know, I ain't worried about none of that. My water parameter just stay all right, and now my fish are happy. Right now, you see my dovas. I got the two biggest ones with them in the 150. These are the three smallest, and I'm taking the males. That's another thing I wanted to separate them, because the males kept chasing them. We got the, feet, the male, big male, right here. You got Titan. Titan right here. Come on out there, Titan. There he is. There he is. That's a big old Titan in there. I had to take him out because he was getting a little aggressive with the women. I mean, with the other fish in 150. And then I got my red hairs as latest. And here, get ready to put them back in another tank. I got a big one right there. Uh, he got a little attitude with him too. I like that. And then you got a flower horn right there. Then you got a pearl fish. It's like a sort of a hodgepodge I got going on in here, man. It's a, you know, a little bit of everything. Got my 75 ready for my um, RTMs because I'm going to put them in the 75. I switched that up. I got this tank back up and running. This is where my, uh, my heater busted. So I had to, uh, you know, drain the whole tank, get the sand out. And I also got a fish in there now, a little feeder fish. You can see them swimming right there. Just to make sure the water cool. I took the uh, I took some uh, tests, ran some tests. Oh my God, that got black nasty I missed. I know I missed something. It's a couple more fish in there. It's a couple more fish in there. It's a, it's a couple more black nasties over there. You can't see them, but they in there. I knew I missed some fish. I didn't count the black nasties because I had 10 of them. I was just a little upset yesterday. But that go one right there. Uh, the water parameters are pretty good in here. You know, I was going to get some uh, pH down because it was up a little bit pH, but it still was you know, my range, it was still in there. Okay, that's cool. You know, see, God is good. That was another black nasty I, I seen. And here go the proud parents with their fry still down there. And Mr. and Mrs. Jag. <laughs> that's Mr. Jag there. Got his nice black colors on. He changed colors at will. And she is a nice lime green. I don't know whether the camera can catch this. Lime green and teal color. Eyes are red. I love them eyes. She's blind in that eye. Yeah, she's blind in that eye. Her and her brother got into a fight early, early when I had him. And he bit her right in the eye. And she's been blind in the eye ever since. Look at her. But she feisty. Yeah, she feisty when it comes to them young. And over here we got the flower horns. And they're fry. It's a, it's a nice little bit of fry in there too. Just like, this that third spawn. Then over here in the 150, got, you know, got everybody getting along. Everybody waiting on their food though. I'm in love with that mayhem. That mayhem right there is a gorgeous creature, man. I had her since she was one inch. One inch. She just laid eggs in the pot, but she ate them. She was mating with that fish right there in the back there. When I bought him, they said he was a true red terror. So I bought him just to grow him out and see what he was. Then over here, 
sorry. That's the 125 setup. Got all my black nasties in my fest they grow outs in there <coughs> from yesterday. And I had these fish in here cycling the tank and I, you know, I was catching them a little by little when I needed some feeders for, for the Dover and the Jags. And I got my umbies, both of them, waiting on some food. They getting more bolder. Then over here, we got about 150, I don't know if you can see it, Jaguar fry in my planet tank. We got about 50 uh, flower horn fry. I got two rams in there. There's one right there. And I got 20, yes, 20 plecos, bristle nose plecos in here. 20 of them. I have 20. I don't have to do anything to this tank. They clean it constantly. Constantly cleans it. This is supposed to be a feeding video, so I'm going to see if I can uh, do this. Still looking at the 125, and I wish I had some light. That help a little bit. Uh, that's a feste, and that's about two and a half inches, three maybe. And she got some nice colors on her. Tail nice and red. Oh, yeah. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Yes. Okay, let's get on with this feeding video. I just got a, uh, I just got a package yesterday in the mail. I should have did an unboxing of Southern Delight. I got it. I got everything almost, the whole, almost the whole line. This is Small Child Southern Delight. This is for my fry. I got nano krill, if I can find it. I labeled all of it. I, I left a couple upstairs. I put the Kimmy Pure in all my tanks. Just here, right here, these two. Check them out, y'all. Them two right there. Woo! They are for the contest. And I got this, my Vitakim. I don't want to drag this on too much. So, uh. This is for my fry. Nah. Let's get some of this in here. Let's see how the fry take to it. Let's get a little bit in there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, here goes something right here. Hope I can do this with one hand. Hold up, y'all. Hold up. Take a look at Mr. and Mrs. Jag here for a minute. I got some nano krill here. Nano krill. And that is really fine. This is for the fry. This is for them Jags. This is for these, uh... Yes, this is made just for them. It's bite size just for their little teeny mouths. Yes. Nano krill. Southern delight. Aquatic support systems. I'm not, you know. Alright, that was a little bit in there. Promoting anything. They going after it. Oh yeah. Not promoting anything. But their food, I've been feeding them this food since they was living. I mean, born. Since they was born. Drop a little more in there. And they just fry or going after it. I'm going to put you on pause for one minute because I ain't going to let this run over 10. That's my two umbies down there. Wait, 
I feel it don't worms. He back there getting in it, getting it, getting with it. He back there getting with it. feed these buggers. We're going to feed these hunger buggers. And they going at it like crazy. And they love it. They love it. We're going to get busy with some uh, power feed, veggie trail for these dudes. And they going berserk over it. I couldn't get all the feeding in like I wanted to. So everybody have a happy Saturday. This is Chef out.